Good morning, subbies and subettes. Today we're doing a valve cover gasket on a uh, Toyota Corolla. First, you want to remove the engine covers to 10 millimeters, and then you get the cover off, which I already did. It's right here. Then you take out the cool packs, connector, ignition coils, whatever you want to call these things. Start getting those up and out of the way. Oh, it's fighting me a bit. So what I'll do next is remove the, the connector brace. Also 10 millimeters. This whole job is done with a 10 millimeter. If you got a drill or something, it'll make the job so much easier and faster. But I left mine at work. So flip it up. That bam, take that out. Also, remove this 10 millimeter that was holding this bracket on to right here, and then this one back here. Remove that. You like my cool orange gloves, and I don't normally wear these, but this thing is really oily. And I gotta degrease it after I'm done. So, once you get that out of the way, what you need to do is go around the valve cover, find the 10 millimeters holding the valve cover in. There's one right there. There's one right here. There's one, two, three, three on the back side. And then you're golden. I'll sit the camera down for a moment while we uh, replace those 10 millimeters. Also, don't forget about these hoses. They're, they're real simple. You take and squeeze it with your hand on some pliers. See that? Push it back. And pull it with your hand. Now, if you get this happening right here, what you do is grab your pliers. Take your pliers on here, and, and I'm gonna show you one sec. Okay, get these pliers. Do that, bam, right off. You wanna do that same thing with this one if this one doesn't wanna come off. As I tell people you can't give the parts a choice. You gotta make it to mine a fort. Man, I'm sure I'm hungry. Make me a nice little vegan video after this one. Now I got all that out the way. I'm gonna remove these 10 millimeters. Yeah. Okay, now I've taken all the 10 millimeter bolts out. A couple of that was right here. That one's still in there, but it's out. That one there. Those back there. That one. It's not on this side. Now you just start prying it up the best way possible. So, as you can see, the entire valve cover gasket is stuck to it. Oh, and it's rock hard. This is gonna be fun. This is how I know this was their problem. Oh, look at that. It's not so bad. That was gonna be more of a pain in the ass. Huh? Oh. Now what you want to do is if it starts breaking like that, make sure you get all of it out. You don't want to get that down in the valves or anything. Get it up, get it up, get it up, get it up. Then you just want to kind of look around, check all the mating surfaces, make sure it's nice and clear. You see that? 
that little thing right there would have caused the leak if I went over it. Right here. Whoop. Well, I made it fall. Got it all out. I don't see anything else. So, next, grab the valve cover. And then you install it. Okay. Also, I urge you to buy some of this guy here. Weather strip cement. Or you just tell them weather strip adhesive. Because what's this going to do? It's going to hold that out. The gasket in place without leaking. Because you don't want it to leak. Oh, that was crazy. I don't know if you see this here. Some jackass shoved the oil, shoved it down in the oil too hard, and it came in contact with the uh, timing chain. Could have did some real bad damage. Good thing he didn't. So, on with this now. It's orange like my gloves. What you want to do? is crack it open, spread it around here just a bit, and then put your gasket in. So, got it in. Just got to sit and try to cure it, because you see this? It keep popping out just a bit. You don't want that to happen once you get it installed. It'll leak all over the place. You don't want that at all, at all. But this stuff cures pretty quick, so just gotta be a little patient. This is a perfect time to smoke a cigarette or something if you smoke. I don't, but yeah. Now that you got it back on, I put my 10 millimeters back in, tighten them down, you know, tighten everything down in reverse, and then you're done. Plug it all back together. If this wasn't enough information, leave a comment at the bottom, and I will, you know, Walk you through it the rest of the way. Thanks for watching. Please smash that like button. Help me out. Like and subscribe.